Oh, hello folks, Zach Sweet here from Lincoln Landscaping, and here's a look at my early Christmas present from Santa, my Walker Mower MT. GHS with a 48 inch cutting deck, and this unit here is a 2003 model. So GHS, we all know that stands for Grass Handling System, and the Walker Mower does an excellent job of handling the grass. One of the best in the industry, this mower sucks the grass right off the lawn and throws it in the back hopper. One of the major reasons why I wanted this mower so badly. So I picked up this unit at an auction in Toronto, Canada. I participated in the auction online. It was my first time doing so and I had a great experience with the whole process involved in bidding on equipment online. So this mower here is an older unit, it's a 2003, but I made sure beforehand to call the auctioneers and get as much info on the mower as I could. They told me aesthetically there were a few issues, the paint's chipping, there's a few missing parts, the, the seat's torn, but they reassured me that everything was operational and I shouldn't have any issues working on this machine, everything should be minimal. So after that conversation with them, I was then convinced that I was going to go ahead and put in a price on this machine. I did so and I won. So I was very excited about that. For the longest time I've wanted to have a walker mower and finally it's come true. So after I won the bid it then became the process of how am I going to get this mower from Toronto Canada to Eastern Canada. It was about a 15-18 hour trip and there was a big storm coming and I wasn't too sure on how I was going to bring this mower across the country. So one of the things I debated was going out there myself and picking up the machine. I was going to get a U-Haul. I was going to stay in a hotel. I was going to do the whole nine yards and that was going to be very expensive. Ritchie Brothers Auctioneers, who was the auction that I went through to pick up this machine, they're partnered with a company called U-Ship, capital U, ship.com. They also have a TV show called Shipping War, so you may be familiar with that show. with well, the whole process of uship.com. So what I was able to do, I was able to go on this website and create a job, the transport of my walker mower. After I had done so, transport companies could then go online and bid on the shipment of my machine. So I had four companies bid on the job to bring this mower from Toronto, Canada to Moncton. Out of the four or so odd companies that bid on the job, there was a few high ballers and there was a few low ballers. So the lowest price, it was almost too good to be true. So what I ended up doing is I called the company and I spoke to them and it just so happened that they were based in Moncton and that's why the price was so low. So I got comfortable with them enough to pull the trigger and go ahead and hire them to bring the machine to me and they had a hard time bringing it because there was a huge storm but everything went went very smoothly it was a very reassuring process i have no complaints at all ritchie brothers auctioneers did an excellent job U ship did an excellent job and the transport company did an excellent job i would definitely go through the process again and if i ever look to add any equipment i'm certainly going to do so or at least look into going through the auction system so if you're familiar with walker mowers, please just pay attention to the few little things I'm showing here. I was just trying to go over as much as I could. If you see anything that I may not be aware of, please just let me know in the comments below. And just because I'm not totally familiar with this machine, it's all been sort of my own research to become comfortable with it. I'm going to be doing a lot of the maintenance on my own, so any help would be much appreciated. So. Just comment if you see anything, let me know, and I'd really, really appreciate that. Thanks, guys. So right now I'm just going over the machine in terms of maintenance because I want to try to do as much as I, as I can right now before winter, that way come springtime when I'm all eager to go out and use the machine, it'll be ready. So one of the things I've noticed, I'm going to need new blades, 
uh, the basics, the oil changes, the air filters, the spark plugs, all those sort of things. But on top of that, I wanted to ask you guys, and if you know a lot about Walker mowers, feel free to help me out here. You can see here, these rivets look like they came off this, this hinge here. So this is the, the part where the, the grass goes through the deck here into this and the impeller sucks it up into the hopper. But it looks like this part here has been uh, broken off the hinge. So my guess is the grass isn't, isn't being directed very well through this, this piece. So I might, need this, I might need to replace this piece. I don't know if that's something common or if that's something that's expensive to do, uh, but maybe you guys could let me know. So if you're a walker specialist or you know a lot about these machines, feel free to contact me in the comments below and let me know what you think because I'm going to be bringing it to the dealer and we'll see what they say, but it just looks like, I, I know it shouldn't look like that, so, so that's one thing. And then for the most part, everything else looks pretty good. So I haven't run, I haven't ran the machine yet because until I know for sure that everything's in tip top shape, I don't want to damage anything by not really knowing the full uh, backstory of the machine. So other than that, I'm really happy. Uh, it's my first experience going through an auction and the process was very straightforward. It was very simple. I was, you know, I, I would do it again. So. There's another look at the walker. I'm sort of in shock that I have this machine because it was sort of the dream, the dream machine. I wasn't, I didn't think I was going to add one of these this year. So there we have it. All right, guys. Yeah. So if you could let me know in the comments, if you have any uh, advice for me on what I should do with this machine before storing it for the winter, that'd be much appreciated. See you guys soon. Take care.